What's the difference between masculine and feminine energy in medicine? Great information from Dr. Kelly Brogan on the Functional Forum. So like any ontological process, right, there are many parallel layers. And I think many of you probably are experiencing a personal process that seems to mirror something that's also going on on the level of global consciousness, right? So I spent the better part of my adult life really living in what could be described as my masculine energy, right? My first email address was Kelbro at Hotmail, and I thought that was like a clever combination of my first and last name, but really I think it was more a nod to my inner bro because I've been always a very righteous person, very sort of management-oriented, a doer, a fixer, and somebody very interested in mastery. So these were some of the things that I used to believe, uh, largely nurtured by my conventional training, right? That science is truth at any given time. That the one who knows the most science is, of course, right. That there is a right and a wrong, a good and a bad. That there's a rational explanation, of course, for everything that deviates from what science would predict. That there is an urgency always. And that misfortune really comes from laziness and lack of preparation. So this was my story. And there are many forefathers to this story, right? To this idea that we are here put on this earth, as Alan Watts would say, flesh robots on a dead rock floating in the middle of nowhere, right? That we are put on this earth to lord over and to exact our power and force over the natural world, right? And so an unintended consequence of this perspective is that we end up feeling fundamentally separated from nature. And of course, the extension of that is separated from each other, our communities, and even ourselves, our, our own souls, spirits, and minds. So the posture of this story is one that encourages a warring stance, right? So what is medicine today? It's antibiotics, it's anti-hypertensives, it's antidepressants, right? And so we continue to position ourselves against what we have labeled as bad, wrong, or in need of domination or eradication. And the problem is that we continue to use more and more failed science and technology to make up for the failed science and technology. So the type of medicine that this culture supports is, of course, one where the human body is a machine, right? It's made up of a, you know, bags of different parts and largely predetermined genes. We put calories in, and of course the environment is largely irrelevant because we're impervious to it, right? And the, you know, the nature of this experience of ourselves really ends up influencing us from a, a top-down layer. And it ends up being a, a, almost like a, a predetermined medical system applied to the impersonal patient. Thanks so much for watching, and for more great clips like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I've created a special free video just for you. It's called The Five Steps to Becoming a Leader in Your Wellness Community, and it'll give you some of the starting points on how to position yourself as the leader in your zip code of your health community. All you have to do is click on the link below.